money and credit the money it is as the most essential and a basic necessity in a modern economy in today's world it took many centuries to develop money and it passed to the many stages of society at the dawn of a human civilization human needs were so simple that people were self reliant and self sufficient they made their own dwelling units hunted animals and produced all that were needed by them to make their lives as more comfortable they led independent lives but with the advancement of civilization human wants increased and now it was not possible for the individual to produce everything they wanted and subsequently they became as the interdependent in this situation it became as essential for the individuals to produce more and more number of goods in economy and satisfying their needs with the present economic scenario <clears throat> in modern economy presently with the use of a money which solves as a earlier marketing system the problem of a earlier marketing system which was known as a barter system our ancestors they relied on the direct exchange of goods and services which was known as the barter system exchange of commodities exchange of goods which work on a principle of a double coincidence of wants in which both buyers and sellers it should agree it should ready for the exchange of the those commodities which they produce the commodities produced by the buyers and sellers it should as agree for exchange it can be as a coincidentally as a happen in which both buyers and sellers are agree for a exchange of their goods for example in a state in which as a seller a which produce as a onion and b as produce the potatoes if a uh, seller a sell as first seller needs as the potatoes then under such circumstances it will given as a same number of same commodity same weight of a onions to the potato producers and exchange with it but in a situation if the seller not agree if the potato producer not agree to exchange with the onion it will move towards the other producer so this was also as a drawback of a barter system the double coincidence of wants which makes a possibilities of exchange of commodities with in between of a in between of the buyers and sellers but coincidentally so many number of a times it was not happened in economy so such problem sorted out with the introduction of money in economy so what were as a demerits of a barter system first lack of double coincidence of wants the double coincidence of wants is essential for the functioning of barter system it is necessary for one party to want exactly what the other party offers in exchange as equal in the absence of a double coincidence of wants no exchange of commodities it will be to take place in a markets clear second demerit of a barter system is a lack of common measure first demerit lack of double coincidence of wants second demerit lack of common measure of value of value a large number of commodities in economy which are used in a diversified forms diversified forms there is a no common measure of value under the barter system different commodities 
are of the different values it is difficult to decide in what proportion are to goods to be exchanged for example a farmer which has spent as a 6 months for a production of a crop if it will be as exchange it with the minerals distinct as a not possible in economy because the minerals needs has a longer duration of time for their formation for their formation in a such economy there is as a goods it can be as all the goods are can uh, exchange with those commodities which are lesser in number present in a markets the third demerit is a lack of a divisibility lack of divisibility divisibility as according to the barter system animals it can be as exchange with the grains animals can't exchange with grains there are the many goods which cannot be divided it can uh, which cannot be as a divided or a subdivided in the absence of a common medium of exchange problem arises when a big individuals big in uh, indivisible commodities or a thing is to be exchange for a smaller commodities for example if the price of a cow is equal to the seven goats then a person having the one goat cannot be as a exchange it for the cow because it is not pot- possible to the cow in a divide the cow in a small pieces so the so barter system it was not applicable on a divisible with the other number of a commodities in a market a cow may giving cow which has ready for the ready for the production of a milk after the 4 to the 5 years but as compared to this the grains it can be as a uh, it can be produced within as a 4 to the 5 months so that's why the lack of a divisibility of a goods it is also the biggest uh, difficulty faced under the barter system next as the difficulties in the exchange of the services difficulties in exchange of services in exchange of services different number of services in economy which cannot be exchanged with the goods so it is very difficult to the measure the services of a doctor teacher lawyer in terms of the goods so services can't exchange with the goods in a barter system goods were the same amount of a same weight of the goods exchanged by the buyers and sellers on assumption basis at that time weighing instruments were not evolved these were not developed people were exchange the commodities on assumption basis they assume the weight of the commodities and exchange with each other clear till there any questions <clears throat> any questions next is the difficulty in a deferred payments difficulties in deferred payments with the introduction of a currency currency it's easy for a future payments goods can money it can be used for a future payments but in a state of a barter system it's not easy barter system lacks a standard of a future payments there is a no stability in the prices of the goods and the commodities grains it can't be as a restore for a longer duration of time so under such circumstances the deferred payments are not possible to occur with the barter system which can only possible with the introduction of a currency introduction of currency next demerit of a barter system is that the difficulties of a storing wealth difficulties of storing wealth in present economy we can store the money for a longer duration but it was uh, as not possible with the barter system in which most number of uh, <coughs> agriculture based goods it, these were exchanged in our markets <coughs> 
it is difficult to save the save under as a barter system a carpenter could uh, store the tables and the chairs but it uh, it would need as a large room but a save but to uh, saving or securing as a flesh for a longer duration grains the perishable goods for a longer duration it is not as a possible so for a storage of a well not possible with the barter system it can only possible with the introduction of money so with the problems face with the barter system people they started to thinking about the some other convenient methods of exchange and their efforts led to the invention of a money which leads to the evolution of a money money which was started at the early phase in a form of the precious metals precious metals gold and silver were used as a medium of exchange with the commodities exchange of commodities which later in stage change into as a currency notes and coins money has been defined by the different economists as the differently there has been no uniformity among over the different definitions of a money some definitions are too wider and some are the too narrower a complete definition of a money it should be as a comprise of all the important functions of money and also its fundamental and basic characteristics the general acceptability keeping the above criteria in view uh, that the money is a universally accepted and nobody denies money as the anything that is generally acceptable as a means of exchange and that at the time acts as a measure and store of value for a longer duration the money money is a universally accepted which nobody denies to sum up as the money which serves as a medium of a exchange a store of value a standard of a deferred payments and measure of a value or a unit of accounts money performs the other functions also as broadly the functions of a money are divided into three parts primary functions primary functions which includes as a money is a medium of exchange money is a medium of exchange of a commodities exchange with commodities money is a measure of a value as per the value of a different number of a commodities goods present in a economy money it has increase or their decrease use for a payment to the sellers and buyers to the sellers secondary functions of money are the money is a standard of deferred payments which can use for a future payments which earlier not possible with the barter system money is a store of value money is generally as the money generally does not lose its value over a time so it acts as a store of value in other words it allows the people to save in order to make the purchases at later in future money is helps for a transfer of a value from a one place towards other this function of a money relates to its serving as a medium of transfer of value it helps us to transfer values from one person to another or from one place to another money is ready ex uh, accepted by all everywhere the primary and the secondary functions of money have been given the briefly in the form of uh, in the form of the uses in, in diversified form in economy clear till there any questions next the third incidental functions of a money are there money is used for a distribution of a national income calculation of a gdp money used for a maximum satisfaction to the consumers money is a used for a maximum profits to the producers 
money is a base of a credit on which the people they borrow the money from a banks and such amount of a money used for a in case in production money is used in a form of a investment through which the purchasing of a raw material improvements in a technology modifications in a technology purchasing of raw material and payment of a wages to the laborers it can be as a possible with investment of money in a production sites money helps in a liquidity or a productivity money helps in productivity which means that the money acts as the productive productivity of a capital it can be as a put in a various uses as per the needs money it can be used for a investment in other sectors for a good profit margin clear these are the functions of a money in a modern society there are a different characteristics of a good money in economy money as we know in today is the product of a long period of development man has slowly discovered by a process of a trial and error that some objects it can be as a purchase with the use of a money in a modern economy in modern economy the basic characteristics of a money are acceptability money is accepted in a modern economy as in diversified form anything it can be as a used as money as long as it generally acceptable that is why a worthless piece of a paper it can be used as the 100 rupee note it is only worth rupees which can spend for purchasing of a different commodities in economy clear money is a portable in nature easily to transfer from one place towards other which earlier not possible with the barter system money it should be easy to carry it must be light in weight uh, which can transfer from one place towards the other money it should be as a durable money must be as a durable which not like to deteriorate in a shorter tenure of time money it should be as the scars in nature scars in nature which shouldn't use or manufacture by the common people only if a money is a scars people will value it as a commodity that can be used in exchange money it should be as a divisible it must be as a possible to divide the money of a large value into a smaller values that's why the money present in our economy in a smaller denominations towards the higher in our country the currency notes are present in economy from a 1 rupee towards as the 2000 the lowest denominations towards as the highest denominations are present in our economy money it should be as a cognizable cognizable the money must be as easy to recognize and familiar to the most of the people in economy most of people in economy so earlier the gold silver copper coins were used as some methods for use uh, sorry for their use in economy in a form of a money money there are the three forms of the money are there the currency notes currency coins notes coins and demand deposits and demand deposits demand deposits demand deposits are present in a modern society in our country the currency notes and coins are issued by the rbi on the instructions on the behalf of the central government behalf of central government 
RBI publishing or issuing as a currency notes and coins on behalf of central government, except one rupee note, which has issued by the finance ministry, except one rupee note, two rupees to the 2000 rupees of a denominations of a currency notes are issued and published by the RBI. These are signed by the governor of RBI. Clear? The governor of RBI issues as the all those notes which are lies from two to the two thousand issued by the RBI. The functions of RBI are RBI issue the bank rate, the rate of interest on such behalf. All the banks they are lending the money, they are lending the loans to their borrowers. Bank rate means the rate of interest set by RBI on such behalf of the rate of interest, all the banks lending a money to the lending a money to their borrowers, which are lending a money to their borrowers. Clear? Second, CRR, cash reserve ratio, cash reserve ratio. Cash reserve ratio. Cash reserve ratio. Twenty percentage of a total assets. Twenty percentage of a total assets deposited by the all the banks. Deposited by all the banks in RBI in a form of a form of securities. Such securities it can use by the RBI when bankrupt or a bank fails for their functioning. If the bankrupt occur under such circumstances, the 20 percentage of the total assets which are preserved, which are secured in RBI as a security, such assets will use for payment to their depositors, depositors of a bank. It will be as a benefited with the amount of a money which deposited by the depositors in their bank due to the failure of a bank, such amount of a money can easily return to them. That's why the CRR, the cash reserve ratio maintained by RBI. It is maintained by the RBI. Clear? Till there are any questions? Till there are any questions? Till there are any questions? Next. The RBI, it issues as the currency notes. Currency notes issued by the RBI. As per the instructions given by the central government, RBI issues the newer currency notes in economy. Next, RBI it provides as a credit to the central government and state governments. When government's expenditure exceed then its total revenue, under such circumstances, RBI it provides as the credit facility to the state governments. In our families, when the budgets are prepared, our expenses are increases. Under such circumstances, we start to reduce our expenses. But this has not happened with the government. When government's expenditure increases as compared to their revenue means income. Government's source of income is a taxes. As compared to the collection of a taxes, when the expenditure increases, expenditure on a availability of a public facilities. Government started to raise as a funds from a RBI in a form of credit. Clear? RBI, it supervises the functioning of all those banks which are registered under it. As according to the this supervision, RBI checks that all those banks which are registered under the RBI, they are provided as a two percentage of their total credit assets, credit facilities to uh, poor and the marginalized farmers or not. This is as a responsibility of all those banks which are registered under RBI 
out of their total loan facilities, two percentage of the credits loan facilities, it should be as a provided to the poor and marginalized farmers. Clear? Poor and marginalized farmers. These are the functions of RBI. So this much for today. That's why we'll continue on tomorrow. Any questions?